Well, President Putin has accused the West of seeking Russia's strategic defeat in the war, and he threatened to target US-made F-16 fighter jets if they're supplied to Ukraine. Speaking at his annual economic forum, Mr Putin said his country remained strong despite international sanctions. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports. He can't put a foot wrong, he'd like us to think. So in St. Petersburg, Vladimir Putin delivered two messages to his people and to the world that Russia's economy has survived sanctions and Russia's army will be victorious. We see that the West is doing all it can so that Russia suffers a strategic defeat on the battlefield. But soon, Ukraine will stop using its own military hardware altogether. There's nothing left. Everything with which they fight and use is brought in from abroad. You can't fight like that for long. The Kremlin leader claimed that Russia's military is inflicting heavy casualties on Ukraine, and he warned the West against giving Kiev US-made F-16 fighter jets. Their tanks are burning. Several tanks have been destroyed, including leopards. And the F-16s will also burn. I have no doubt. If the jets are stationed at air bases outside Ukraine and used in combat operations, we will have a look at how and where we can hit the hardware being used against us. How times have changed. Western leaders and investors used to flock to St. Petersburg for what was Russia's flagship economic forum. They're staying away now because of the war. And they're not the only absentees. As you can see, this is not St. Petersburg. This year, journalists from what Russia has officially labelled unfriendly countries, and that includes Britain, have been barred from the economic forum. First time that's ever happened, a sign of the times, as relations between Russia and the West have gone from bad to worse to even worse than that over Russia's war in Ukraine. A war Vladimir Putin seems determined to continue. But behind his public confidence, the pressure's growing. He's cornered. Uh, he doesn't have a visible exit for, for himself. And because of that, he has to continue. Uh, this war until the end. What does it mean end? What does it mean end point? What does it mean victory? Uh, nobody knows. After more than two decades in power, Vladimir Putin has grown used to winning. The possibility of defeat he will find hard to contemplate. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.